Here's a baby female horned melon flower, African horned cucumber. Can we see it? Isn't it pretty? See the baby horns on the melon part, the embryo part? There's the pretty cucurbit flower. They're attracting bees now and they're all getting cross-pollinated and everything. There's a slightly larger one. Still pretty junior. They're starting to grow very quickly. That one in there is getting to quite a good size, isn't it? Must be, what, about a week old? Where are you? Ah, it's about a week old. Not very big yet, is it? But it's getting there. You could eat it like a gherkin, I suppose, at this stage. We could. Well, there's a couple anyway. A little embryo, a newborn one. And this one here must be what? That one must be about a week. It's starting to go very fast. That must have been one of the first ones. They grow pretty fast once they start. Provided it's got plenty of water and uh, nutrients. They look a bit like a pineapple, don't they? This horned melon vine, this African horned melon, is interestingly growing up a Hottentot bean, a Shotia Afra bean from Africa. So I've got a little African section here really, haven't I? The uh, Kalahari melon climbing up the Shotia Afra from Africa. I think these grow in Johannesburg. Someone online told me, a boy from Johannesburg, said that these grow in Johannesburg, these trees, Shotia Afra. So I've got this melon growing in the right place. Up oh, this hot and tight bean tree. Yes. Up oh, in the hot and tight bean tree. So that's what the hot and tight bean tree leaves look like. Shoti or Shotia Afra. And uh well, it seems so like climbing. Let's hope it makes some fruit before it gets too cold. This horned melon is climbing up a Chinese pistace. Is it Chinese pistace? Pistacia sinensis. You can see that it's, the leaves are being nibbled a little bit by a 28 spotted beetle. Let's have a look. It makes that pretty lacy effect on the leaf. See all that lace work, but on the back there's a 28 spotted beetle. Can we see that? Can I see what I'm filming? Probably not. So bright. Can we see that 28 spotted beetle? They have to be kept under control a bit because they can ruin the vines. They tend to eat the tips of the vines. They like the succulent tips. But as long as there aren't too many of them. In any case, this vine is climbing up into the uh, Chinese pistace, pistace, that's what it's doing, it's climbing. Hopefully we're going to have some nice melons up in the tree. Who needs a trellis when you can grow things up into a tree? African horned melons growing up in the tree. There's a 28 spotted beetle up close. They certainly like to nibble cucurbits and can do quite a lot of leaf damage if they're allowed to. They have their whole life cycle on the melon vine from egg through to a uh, little beetle. There's some in between stage two. I forget what they're called. But these are a pest that can cause a bit of damage if they get out of hand. 28 spotted beetle. And they make that lace work. They make everything look like lace work in the end. Just lace work. 
pretty lace work, see? That's what they make. They're lace makers. Naughty beetles. Well, ladybugs, what would you call them? This wall of African horn melon vines is doing very well. You can see there'll always be some African spotted, um, what are they? 28 spotted beetles. They're from Russia, aren't they? But, um, yes, there it is, nibbling. But it's not doing too much harm as long as they're under control. Oops. Anyway, this is a lovely wall. A lovely wall of melon vines. I think I'm going to grow all these all around the house next year and have a beautiful, beautiful ivy, well, not ivy, but something that resembles an ivy wall all around the house. Won't it be wonderful? It's wonderful, so cool and shady. It's lovely. So cool, shady and green. That's a distinct cucurbit leaf, isn't it? Looks a bit like ivy though, doesn't it? And there's lots of little melon, uh, baby melons and uh, there's bee activity and ants and all sorts of things in there. And it's lovely and cool and shady. And in a month or so we'll have ripe, melon, ripe melons. So that'll be very nice. So cool and shady. Puff of fish or a blowfish, doesn't it? 